So this is a GIF image on a PowerPoint presentation. GIF animated image. Now our problem is that we are not able to control it. How to start it, how to stop it because it is infinite. It will loop back all time when you have the presentation. So how to control this GIF image? Directly we cannot control it, but I'll tell you a way to actually do it. How to find out GIF image first? The best way is to go to the Google, uh, find out any image. For example, I'm finding talking man GIF. Just say talking man GIF. Go to the images section and you can take it from here. And there are various good websites, uh, for example, Tenor, and there are so many. So I'm just, just taking an example that I've gone to Tenor and talking man, I'm searching here. So any image you can take, I'm taking this image. Just uh, copy this, copy this image. And this is, this is an image of a talking man. So this image we are going to take and we will control his talking and not talking. That is, I'm pasting this image here. And since we have already seen that when you actually run the PowerPoint presentation, you'll see he is going to talk continuously. Now we want him to stop as per our convenience and again start talking. So we are going to make a copy, but not a exact copy like this. Just copy this, the image we have copied. And then once you are, have copied, you need to paste it as special. Please remember, paste is as paste special. So we are going to make it, a, it as a static image that is without any animation. So you can take any of this, say JPG or PNG. So now we have two images. One image, which is actually the GIF image, animated image. The second image is a static image. You see the left one is actual animated image. The right one is a simple PNG image without any animation. So first thing is now we are going to put animation here. So the actual image that is the animated image, give the animation as appear. Give the animation as appear. But this appearance has to come on certain trigger. So this will appear when the static image or non-talking image is clicked. So the moving image has to given a trigger that is on click of the static image. That is because we have picture uh, three and picture four. So the trigger has to be given on another image. Coming to the second image, this, this static image, the trigger has to be given on the previous image, which is actually the moving image or the animated image. Okay, I hope you got the idea. The appearance, the uh, animation has to be given on a trigger, on a previous image. Okay, so if you run this uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, presentation, you won't be able to see anything because we have to put add animation. So the first image, just use uh, exit, disappear or fade. Fade is better because it will give you a smooth transition. So I have added a transition uh, to first image. Again, I am adding transition to the second image. That is the image, which is static image. Now just drag it and place it below the triggers. And always in the two, these two image, always give it as start as previous. This also start as previous. So the images, the added animation, animation of fading, it should be previous set as previous now i'm dragging it just do it like this so i've dragged drag it uh, picture four and picture three picture three with picture four and now superimpose it one over another so if it is not superimposed you will not be able to see the the actual scenario now now click it see i'm clicking it it is saying now again clicking it it is it has stopped talking right this is how you control the GIF.